also after the Honorable Sherilyn P. Garnett. She is the Los Angeles District Court Judge overseeing the Gina Carano vs. Disney case. Said that Gina's case can move forward to trial. Um, things have started to heat up just a teeny tiny bit. Now this is from Bounding Into Comics. Gina Carano vs. Disney lawsuit. The Mandalorian actress names Kathleen Kennedy, Bob Chapek, and Pedro Pascal as potential witnesses for upcoming wrongful termination trial. This could get good, folks, because what's going to happen here is we're going to have depositions. We're going to have discovery. Then we're going to have the trial. And this is where all the dirty laundry, all the double standards will be aired out for all the public to see. And we're going to get a, the veil's going to be lifted on Disney. We'll just say that. So according to the article here, former Mandalorian actress Gina Carano has named a number of Disney big shocks, including former CEO Bob Chapek, Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy, as potential witnesses in her upcoming court battle with the House of Mouse. Now, there's some others that are going to be included as potential witnesses here. We got Bear Grylls. Remember, she was supposed to do an episode of uh, Running Wild with Bear Grylls on National Geographic. And after she was terminated by Disney from The Mandalorian, they pulled that episode um, off D+. Um, her former talent agency, who was representing her up until she was dismissed from The Mandalorian. PR firm IDPR, who also dropped Gina Carano after she was dismissed from The Mandalorian. We got John Favreau. He's involved in this because he's the creator of The Mandalorian. He was also the one that um, was, I guess, going to tell Gina that we're going to do a new D-plus Star Wars series based on your character, Cara Dune, called, I believe it was Rangers of the New... Re yeah, Rangers of the New Republic. Uh, then we got Pas Pedro Pascal. Remember, he made some interesting social media posts, very similar to Gina's. But... He didn't get terminated from the Mandalorian. In fact, it says here, whose lack of punishment after his public insulting of American conservatives, Carano is pointing to as proof that she was treated unfairly. Already mentioned Kathleen Kennedy, already mentioned Bob Chapek. We got Lucasfilm publicist Lynn Hale, as well as Gina herself. Now, Lynn Hale, she might have been involved in the statement that was put out by Lucasfilm that if I remember correctly, kind of disparaged Gina. And not only that, but I think she was also part of that focus group that Gina was supposed to attend as part of her re-education. I could be wrong on that chat. You can correct me on that if you'd like, but I think I'm, I think I remember that. Chrono's attorneys also provided a preliminary list of specific documents they're looking for either side to produce as part of the trial's discovery process. We got social media posts. We got internal communications. We have Slack channels. We have emails. We have um, direct messages. I mean, we have a whole list of things here, just to name a few. Gina's social media post. Communications between and or among the employees of Disney and or their subsidiaries, contractors, or other related entities related to Corano's social media post. Gina's contracts with Disney, communications between Disney, including its employees or agents, and Carano's former talent agency, published system manager, communications between Disney, including its employees or agents, and other movie slash show producers concerning Carano and any damages Carano suffered as a result of lost work due to such communications. We got documents showing plans for Rangers of the New Republic, as well as other series or movies in which Gina would have had a role in. Documents showing compensation, Gina would have earned had Disney not unlawfully terminated her promised projects, including but not limited to future seasons of The Mandalorian, Rangers of the New Republic, Star Wars films that were to include the character Cara Dune. Social media posts made by Pedro Pascal, Mark Hamill, and other similarly situated employees or actors. Documents related to Disney's treatment of similarly situated male empl employees or actors. Documents and communications related to Disney's public statements regarding plaintiff's termination. 
documents or communications related to Disney's social media policies for employees, uh, documents or communications related to Disney's diversity, equity, and inclusion programs and policies, documents or communications related to Disney's decision to terminate or disassociate from Corano and the reasons for that decision. <sighs> Corano's attorneys also informed the court that the actress currently intends to take at least 10 depositions, including Disney employees involved in the decision to terminate her, as she expects that given the nature of the case, more than the allowed 10 depositions will be necessary to gain a complete picture of what occurred in her case. The actress's team did note in their filing that Carano anticipates that the limit on the number of depositions may, but not the length of any particular deposition, may need to be modified depending on information obtained during discovery. Now, they're hoping to have um, discovery done by April 18th of next year, 2025. And trial is looking like it's going to start somewhere at the end of September. September 29th is a potential start date. And they're estimating this is going to take approximately a week. Now, to me, that sounds kind of short for a trial this large. But what do I know? I'm no attorney. Now, I'm not going to recap all, everything that's gone on. But, um... This is going to get interesting, folks, um, because what most people anticipated is that if things move forward, we're going to get to discovery and depositions, and that's where all the dirty laundry can come out. That's where the veil will be lifted on Disney for all to see. So what do you guys think about this news that we could have some testimony from Kathleen Kennedy, Bob Chapek, Pedro Pedro Pascal, Mark Hamill, comment down below. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Share this video out there with your friends and family. And with that, I will see you guys later.